what is up my dogs lost in here so a video request i get very often is to do a full rod and reel arsenal now i've been making fishing videos for about five and a half six years now and when i started i had a very beginner maybe above average knowledge about fishing at least i would consider that and now i have learned so much about different types of fishing i've honed different things in and this year we're going to go over the 2022 rod and reel arsenal and it is the most fine-tuned setups that i've ever had let's jump into it Before we even hop into any of this, first, I just want to say thank you to all the people who have been supporting on Patreon. It's been a big leap going from dropping all sponsors to getting Patreon support only and putting out these videos. And something that's awesome about a video like this is this is all transparent. I think I have a singular rod that was sent to me by a company, but I chose to use this rod over other rods that I had. Otherwise, all of this equipment is gear that I've bought myself. It's not sponsored it's not supported by anything it's supported by you guys and my, my own money buying the stuff if you want to support on patreon you get early access to all the videos i write weekly blog posts i respond to private messages on there it's it's just been really really humbling and a beautiful thing so i appreciate it we're gonna start with the newest reel to the arsenal and also the biggest one i'm gonna be using now I have some bigger setups in this and I have some smaller setups that I'm gonna be showing in this video. These are gonna be the things that I'm using almost every video. I have like big Daiwa dogfight reels that are meant for catching GT and tuna. I have a tin weight fly rod that's beautiful. I have some small finesse gear. We won't dive into that in this video. This is gonna be like the meat and taters, what you're gonna see in almost every video. And the first one is one of my favorite reels of all time. The Shimano Calcutta 400. This is a beautiful, beautiful round reel, great for swim baiting. Now, you'll see this reel used a lot by big bait bass fishermen, guys who are throwing nine inch hinkle shads and paperweights and all these really cool big bass baits. But it's actually originally a saltwater reel and it is awesome for snook. Now it is paired with a Murasami seven foot 10 wake bait rod. And this rod I actually won in a raffle in a fishing tournament in Australia. It's a Japanese rod, very rare, very expensive. And one of the nicest rods I've ever had the pleasure to use. And it pairs up with this setup beautifully. Now, like I said, this is almost like a bass setup, but it is rigged for catching big snook and tarpon and redfish. It allows me to throw large top waters. I can throw flare hawks, heavy swim baits. It is a perfect setup for bridge fishing, for fishing seawalls and fishing heavy docks and any type of heavy structure. It also pitches a live mullet really, really well. Some people like to throw live bait on spinning rods, but one of the beautiful things about throwing live bait on a bait caster is that you can make really controlled flicks around docks and walls with your bait, and you can work a mullet as if you were throwing a lure, and it's really, really awesome. Now, this is a brand new setup to me. Uh, if you used to watch my videos long ago, I actually had one of these stolen out of my boat when I was like maybe a year and a half, two years into making videos. And I just now got a new one and I couldn't be more excited to have it back in the arsenal. This is one of my favorite setups. It's a bit cumbersome. If you want to throw light gear, if you're someone who likes throwing like a Stratic CI4 and really, really light stuff, you probably won't like this. It's a heavy setup. It wears on your arm throwing top waters and swim baits on this thing but I just enjoy it so much. All right, the next setup is actually a little like untraditional, but I have fine tuned my setups for what I do to have the fewest amount of rods to accomplish the broadest amount of fishing. And this is a nine foot 
heavy action rod with a 4500 Daiwa Saltis. The Daiwa Saltis is an awesome reel. I actually haven't even used this a ton because it's really meant for surf fishing. But then it's other application now that we're doing a lot more stuff in the boat. It's a great rod and reel for popping or for throwing live mullet or big swim baits at night in bridges, which I haven't got to do with that yet, but I'm looking forward to it. It's an interesting rod. It's kind of not perfect for anything, but it's good for a few different things. I can use it in the boat to throw poppers. I can take it to a jetty. I can take it to the beach and still reach pretty far out with surf gear. Not really perfect for anything, but really great for some of the things that I do. The next setup here is my pride and joy, my sweet baby boy. This is a Shimano Corrado DC paired on a Gene Loomis IMX Pro. This is by far the nicest setup that I have ever owned in my entire life. And it's also the most enjoyable, the smoothest. Everything about this setup is a 10 out of 10. It's also the most versatile rod and reel that I own. One of the things that you learn as you start to dabble in the dark arts of nicer fishing gear is there there's there's a reason that it costs more unfortunately you can get the job done with cheaper gear like i said i started out throwing you know 15 year old pin squalls and just crusty spinning reels that i had from young age man but nicer gear allows for way more versatility and you're affected in that versatility. The Corrado DC lacks in drag for the saltwater fishing I do, but it is manageable. But its castability, when paired with this IMX Pro, is unbelievable. And this is a seven foot six medium heavy IMX Pro. And it's rated for a half ounce lure to a three ounce lure. That is an insanely large spectrum of lures that you can throw on this piece of equipment. I can't even tell you how many people I've had DM me and come up to me and been like, I ended up buying a Corrado DC because of your videos and you using them. I like to throw anything on this. I can throw a weightless fluke on this and I can throw a two and a half ounce swim bait on this setup. But the sweet spot on this is like that three fourths of an ounce to an ounce and a half range. I'm obsessed with this thing. If you see I have a bass jig tied on here, that's for snook and trout, not even for largemouth. I use this for largemouth, but flipping jigs, anything that you can pitch and flip, it's so fun. This rod is a precision weapon, if that makes sense. And I enjoy fishing it to a painful level. And the next rod and reel in the setup here is Another one that's not your typical pairing that you see in the flats fishing world, but it fits my purposes awesomely. This is a 2000 Tsunami Evic paired on an eight foot custom medium light spinning rod made by Juno Bait. Now you do not very often see rods this long in a medium light, and I love this freaking setup. You can throw little swim baits, pompano jigs, goofy jigs, anything that you'd think about throwing on the flats or you'd fish for pompano, like your smaller baits, they throw a mile with this rod. And I put 10 pound braid on here so the braid flies off the reel. This thing is all about casting distance. That's what I designed this rod and reel for. It is amazing for flats fishing and surf fishing or anything that you wanna be able to cover ground this thing covers ground like nobody's business. I will say, the Tsunami Reels, this is the first one I've ever owned. And to be honest, I have basically only ever heard bad things about them. I have two buddies who work in tackle shops and they both have said to me that the Tsunami Shields is like one of their most returned reels that people always bring them back because they have problems with them. And that the Tsunami Evict is one of the only reels from them that they haven't had problems with. So far, I've had this thing for about a year and a half, maybe pushing two years. It's held up really, really well, and I treat my gear very, very tough. So it's been good, and this is actually probably the cheapest reel in all of my setups, and uh, it has fared really, really well for me. But this setup in general is just like an awesome setup for covering ground and finding fish. Back to another little bait casting setup. This is an old 18 Arius paired on a 13 Fishing Concept Z. So, 
The Arius Old 18 was actually sent to me by the company Old 18 because I originally was going to work with them, but then I decided to not do the whole sponsor thing. But I still wanted to use this rod because it is a very, very cool rod. And they're all American made rods, which is obviously awesome. Um, it performs really well. It is a lightweight weapon. This is my dagger in, in the, my tackle box. You know, it is a precision bait caster. And the Concept Z is the maybe first 13 fishing reel I've ever owned. It's interesting. It's a great reel, but it's very interesting. And I could see this is not for everyone. The Concept Z, the whole entire thing is it doesn't have any ball bearings in it, I guess. And it's good and bad so i can throw this little bait caster it has 15 pound braid on here a freaking mile like it casts further than any bait caster any reel i have ever owned but if you do not have your settings dialed in your spool control and your brakes on here you will burn this you have to dial it in to changing the soft plastic on a jig head not just okay i'm throwing a quarter ounce jig head and i'm gonna switch out some soft plastics and i'll change it around no like if i have a little boot tail on here i pull this off and i put a four inch boot tail on here i will burn this when i cast it it throws a mile though when you have it dialed in and this is a really really fun rod to throw when you're dialed in with it and you can literally just with a flick of a wrist make a 40 yard cast with a bait caster it's insane when it's working well and you're staying on top of it the last rod and reel combo that we're going to talk about in this video is actually one that i barely ever use i kind of don't know why i bought it but i'm going to try to be better about using it and use it for some interesting things this is a shimano stratic 1000 that has like 70 yards of eight pound fluorocarbon on it. Ultra finesse setup. And on it is a six foot six Shimano Claris. Not a very expensive rod, but a very small light rod that is in fact a two piece and breaks apart. This is the only two piece rod that I actually own. This little Shimano Claris would be great for fishing for crappie or finesse fishing for sheep's head and mangrove snapper. And that's kind of the idea behind this. Like I said, a lot of what this year and all of these years of experience have led to is creating a rod and reel lineup that is dialed in. I have fine tuned this to everything has a very specific purpose now. And it's been really fun getting that dialed in with my fishing and being like, oh, I'm trying to catch redfish, then I'm gonna be throwing this specific setup. You know, it's not just like, oh yeah, whatever, go you know, pick up this rod and see what we can do. It all has a purpose for me and that's been really, really cool. And I think it's a big part of just dialing your fishing skills up a little bit more. It's all insightful and it's all purposeful. All right, that is the full arsenal. Well, at least what you'll see most of the time. Like I said, there's a few little auxiliary things that won't be talked about in this video, but these are the rod and reels that you're gonna see day in, day out when I'm filming and fishing. Now, like I've said a hundred times in this video, Things like this take time. You know, if you've only been fishing for a year or two or a few years, yeah, you might not need a Corrado DC and the G Loomis IMX Pro and all of the fancy trappings and that stuff. You just might want one good middle ground rod. And that's something that I would recommend to you. I get to fish for a living. I get to have these awesome things. If you're just trying to get into fishing or you only get to fish every once in a while, Buy a rod that serves a lot of purposes. I appreciate you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the rod and reel arsenal video. I enjoyed filming this. I enjoy talking tackle, but I don't ever like to sit there and take a ton of time in my fishing videos to just sit there and babble about it. Cause some people are into it, some people aren't. So it was really cool for me to be able to sit down and talk about this stuff and share this gear with you that I have uh, personally collected and fine tuned. And hopefully you'll get to see it catch some big fish over the next few months here. Uh, I'm really, really excited for the channel's path over this next year and everything that we're doing. I, I can't tell you how much I appreciate you guys and especially the people on Patreon and just the viewers, all of them. You know, you guys are amazing. So I appreciate you. Until the next video, peace.